Hi, I'm Denise. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about the sound Y. This is the sound that is often made by the letter Y. In some textbooks you may see the sound represented this way. Um, but the IPA represents it this way though, okay? So it's all often made by the letter Y. It is the sound Y. I'm going to talk about how to make this sound. I will talk about which letters make this sound. The letter Y is not the only letter that makes this sound, okay? So I'll give you some other letters that also make the sound. I will give you some words to practice with me. I'll say the words and then I'll ask you to repeat them after me. And I will give you some minimal pairs, words that sound the same other than one sound in each pair of words, okay? And I'll give you some sentences to practice with me. So let me start with how to make this sound. Okay. The sound Y yeah, is a voiced sound that means our vocal cords vibrate when we make this sound and it's always followed by a vowel. So when we make the sound we move right into the following vowel, okay? To make this sound we raise the center part of our tongue, and we'll pretend that my hand is my tongue. We raise the center part towards the roof of our mouth, towards the top of our mouth, but we don't touch the top of the mouth, okay? We raise the center part of the tongue, and the front part of the tongue is low. The front part of the tongue is behind my lower front teeth, okay? The center is raised, not touching, and the sides of my tongue are touching and pushing against my upper back teeth, okay? When my tongue is in position, I then just release air out over my tongue, this way, okay? And move right into the next vowel. Some people do confuse this sound with another sound, the J sound, which is often made by the letter J. Don't confuse the notations either. This is the letter J because there are no slash marks around it. This is the sound Y. When I have the slash marks on either side of a symbol, it means I'm talking about the sound. So some people confuse Y, which is made by the letter Y quite often, with the sound J, which is often made by the letter J. With this sound, the front of the tongue is up and it's touching the ridge behind my teeth. Remember I said for Y, the tongue tip is down, it's low, it's behind my lower front teeth. So for Y, the sound I'm talking about today, the tongue tip is down. For this sound, which some people confuse with Y, the tongue tip is up, okay? So I'm not talking about this sound today. Okay, I'm talking about ya. Yeah. So, please practice with me. Raise the center of your tongue, lower the front part, and behind your lower front teeth, let the sides of your tongue push against your upper front teeth. Ya, yeah. ya, yeah. ya. Yeah. And move right into the next vowel. For instance, you, or yo, or ye. Okay? All right, enough of that. <laughs> Let's go right into seeing which letters make this sound. The letters Y and U most commonly make the Y sound, but there are other letters which can make this sound also. <clears throat> I've written some of them up here and some combinations, but there are others as well, okay? This is just these are just examples, okay? But let me go back up here. The letter Y very often makes the Y sound. When we have Y at the beginning of a word, we do get the Y sound, as in the words yes and you. We can also get the sound with the letter Y in the middle of a word, as in the word lawyer, okay? Also the letter U very often makes the y sound, not always, okay, but often it does. And we can see that at the beginning of many words, such as 
use or use. It's a y u use and unit. Also in the middle of many words, such as here with computer and music. Here, the letter U is following a consonant, the consonant P, and here it's following the, the consonant or the letter M. So when the letter U follows some consonants, we often get the Y sound. And in these words, we're getting both a Y and an U for the letter U. So we're getting Y and U. Now, please note that there are many ways to write the transcriptions here. Um, as I showed you earlier, you might get that, you might see that for the sound y, or you might, you might see other things for oo, such as that, and there are others as well, okay? I'm using this transcription today. This is y, oo, so we get u, for the letter U, for the letter U here, okay? This is use unit. We're getting U right here for compu, computer, music. The letters Y and U are the letters which most often give us a Y sound, but as I said, we also have some others. There are other combinations in addition to these. I'm not trying to confuse you, I'm just trying to make you aware that there are other letters that sometimes make a y sound, okay? So let's look at some of them. The letter I can make the y sound, as in the word million. This is y, mil, yun, y, million. Onion, yun, ein, y, yun, onion. And behavior, the letter I is making a y, behave, your, 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 okay? Behavior. <laughs> All right. Sometimes we see the combination E-A-U, such as in the word beautiful, and here I'm getting U, I'm getting the Y and an U sound, but you, you, beautiful, okay? Here we have just E-U, there's no A here, is in the word Euro. Okay, in English, this word starts with a y sound, euro. And sometimes we see it written with a capital letter, e. Okay, euro. Also, sometimes with the letter combination, eu, is in the word few. And here I'm getting y, u. Few, few. Nephew, nephew. Okay? Now, I do want to let you know, though, we can have these letter combinations and have other sounds as well, okay? So, again, I don't want to confuse you. I just want you to make, to make you aware that there are different combinations of letters which give us the yes sound. In addition to the letters we have just seen, there are several vowel sounds which often give us the y sound, okay? These are the vowels E, A, I, oi. <clears throat> now, I'm saying these sounds can give us y because these sounds can be represented by several different letters. So I don't want to just tell you, you know, the letter E or the letter I or the letter A, okay? It's the vowel sound. Uh, for instance, this sound E, I have represented with the two letters E, E here and the word C. Here I've represented that same sound with one E in the word create, okay? So these sounds can be represented by several letters. Here I have represented the sound A with the letters A-Y in the word say. I have represented the sound I with the letters U-Y in the word by, and also by the letter I, in the word quiet, okay? That's the sound I. So my point is that these sounds can be represented by different letters, so I don't want to just show you letters, okay? This is the sound oi. I have represented it 
in the word enjoy by the letters O Y. Okay? But each of these vowel sounds has a little bit of a y at the end of it. Okay? Y, y, I'm exaggerating it, but y, a, y, oy. Okay? And you may see them transcribed some, sometimes in these ways. I've just written these up here to show you how some textbooks, how some dictionaries do transcribe these sounds. They actually transcribe them with the letter Y or the symbol Y. So these are just additional transcriptions for this sound. E, sometimes it's just a, a little Y, because we only hear a little bit of it at the end of the vowel sound. A, 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 A. Again, just a little bit of a Y at the end. Here are some ways you may see the I sound represented, and some ways you may see the OI sound represented. Um, so some textbooks or dictionaries show you transcriptions such as these so that you really realize that there's a little bit of a Y at the end, okay? But when we hear that Y is when we have that vowel sound followed closely by another vowel sound, okay? So in here, we have the word C. If I say it by itself, we don't really hear the Y. But if I follow it closely by another vowel sound, such as the I in the word it, we can hear it. So if I say these two words closely together, see it, see it, yet. You can hear a little bit of a Y in there. And I'm writing the, the letter Y. Um, maybe, I should, maybe I should put the Y. Okay, you can think of it either way. Uh, <laughs> I've been using Y, yeah, I guess I should continue, right? Okay, when I say these two words closely together, see it, see ya. You can hear the ya in there. Now, if I only say the word see, you don't really hear it. But see it, if I say it closely together, we can hear it. And it's the same with each of these others. If I join these words closely together, then we can hear the ya, okay? If I say the word say by itself, we don't hear it. If I join it closely with another vowel sound, then we can hear it. Say it, say it, say it. By itself, no, say. Or it by itself, no, we, of course there's no y. Yeah. But joined closely together, we can hear it. Say it, say it, say it. By it, by it. We only hear the y yeah if we join those two words closely together enjoy it. Same thing here. If we join these two words, enjoy and it, closely together, we can hear the y. Yeah. But if I just say the word enjoy by itself, we don't really hear it. So this happens when we have a vowel sound, one of these vowel sounds, joined closely to a following vowel sound, okay? Such as in a following word, or can even be in the same word, but in a following syllable. This word has two syllables. Create. So cree ends in the E vowel sound, which again has a little bit of a Y, okay? It ends in E. The next syllable begins with a vowel sound A, eight, create. When I join these closely together, we can, often hear the y, create, yate, create. Now we don't exaggerate that sound, no, this is, we, and we can say this word without making the y, create, create. But when we join it closely together, create, you can hear it. There's another example in the word quiet, quiet. This is a two-syllable word, qui, et. The first syllable ends in the I vowel sound, which of course has a little bit of a Y. Yeah. I'm circling the Y, but it's a Y yeah sound. Y. And the next syllable begins with a vowel sound E. Eh. So when I put these closely together, quiet, quiet, quiet. You can hear a little bit of a Y. Yeah. Okay? So these are just some examples where 
these vowel sounds can sometimes give us a y sound when the, the vowel sound up here is joined closely to a following vowel sound, either in a new word or in a new syllable. Okay? The letter Y does not always make a y sound. Y is a consonant sound, as at the beginning of the word yes, but very often the letter Y makes a vowel sound, as in these examples up here. This can occur at the end of a word, such as in the word happy, we have the letter Y, and it's making an E sound, happy. Or it can happen in the middle of a word, such as in the word gym, where the letter Y is making an I sound. So the letter Y often makes a vowel sound and not a consonant Y sound. So here are some examples, okay? This is the vowel sound E, and we get that in the word happy with the letter Y. Here in the word money, we get E with the letters EY, money. This is the vowel sound I, and we get that in the word gym. This is short for gymnasium, but gym, we have the I sound, and also in the word typical, t, typical, we get the I sound. We get the vowel sound A in the word day, with the letters A, Y, and in the word they, with the letters E, Y. Here we have the vowel sound I, and we get this in the word my, with the letter Y, and also in the word type, with the letter Y, type. And here we have the oi vowel sound, and we can get that, or we do get that, in the word boy, with the letters O, Y, and in the word enjoy, with the letters O, Y. So the letter Y very often makes a vowel sound. It does not make the Y consonant sound. Okay. Well, let's go on and practice some words that do have the y sound, okay? Okay, it's time to practice some words with me. I would like to practice with you now some words containing the y sound. The words in the first column have y at the beginning of the word, and the words in the second column have y in the middle of the word. And I have underlined the letter or letters which make the y sound, okay? And over here, um, some of the letters U make a y sound, and some of them make a U sound. So I've written that over here, okay? So this is cellular, it's y, cellular, cellular, and this is U, compu, compu. So it's U, computer, all right? And I haven't written that for everything, but um, for these I have, okay? Over here we have four words beginning with the letter Y, one word beginning with EU, and three words beginning with the letter U. In this word, only the first letter U makes the Y sound. The second one does not, okay? All right, please repeat these words after me. Year. Year. Yes. Yes. You. You. Yellow. Yellow. Euro. Euro. Use. Use. Usual. Usual. University. University. Okay? Next column. <clears throat> lawyer. Lawyer. Cellular. Cellular. Computer. Computer. Document. Document. Menu. Menu. Music. 
music, million, million, popular, popular, okay? All right, um, please repeat these sentences also, okay? You wore yellow yesterday, didn't you? You wore yellow yesterday, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> How many euros did you use in that machine? How many euros did you use in that machine? You went to the university last year. You went to the university last year. The lawyer printed some documents for us. The lawyer printed some documents for us. And the most popular item on the menu is onion. The most popular menu, oops. <laughs> the most popular item on the menu is onion. And now for some minimal pair practice. I'd like to do some minimal pair practice with you now. A minimal pair is a pair of words where only one sound in the word is different. So in these two words, only the first sound in the words is different. The first sound in this word is y, it's right here. And the first sound in this word is j. As I said at the beginning of the video, some people confuse these two sounds, y and j. If you notice, the transcription I've used here uses this symbol, which looks exactly like the letter J over here, okay? So that may be one reason why some people confuse them, but also some people have trouble making the mouth movements. So when we practice minimal pairs like this, it helps us practice our mouth movements and change from one to the other and to distinguish one sound and one movement from the other, okay? So here we have y, and as a reminder, when we make this sound, the middle of the tongue is raised, but the front of the tongue is low behind the front teeth. In this sound, though, the front of the tongue is raised high, and the, the front of the tongue is touching the ridge between our upper teeth. So that's very different from these. There are some other differences as well, but uh, that's a very important difference, okay? The front of the tongue is low in the mouth for this sound, and the front of the tongue is high in the mouth and touching the ridge for this sound, okay? In this column, I don't have a beginning sound in front of the, the letters AM here, so I've put the null symbol here. So we're going to practice saying a word without Y and then one with Y, okay? So please practice along with me. Please repeat these words after me. All right, here we go. Am, yam, am, yam. Are you getting the y in there? Okay, I hope so. Ear, year, ear, year. Year, yeah. Oak, yoke, oak, yoke. Owl, yowl, owl, yowl. All right. And by the way, oak is a kind of tree, owl is a kind of bird, yoke is the yellow part of an egg, and we do not pronounce the letter L in this word, okay? So it's as if there were only a Y, an O, and a K, yoke. And yowl is a kind of cry or yell, okay? And over here, by the way, to jeer is to say something not nice about somebody, kind of to tease them. Uh, jowl is another word for jaw. Okay, it's part of our, our face. Let's do that again. Am, yam. Ear, year. Oak, yoke. 
how yao. Okay? Alright, let's do these two columns of words. So here we have ya j yam jam yam jam year jeer year jeer remember for the j we're touching the top of our mouth for the d part of this sound yoke joke yoke joke yowl jowl yowl jowl all right let's try the three words across okay am yam jam ear year jeer oak <clears throat> oak yoke joke Owl, yowl, jowl. All right, I hope that practice helps you. And let's move on and do some sentences now. Finally, it's time to practice some sentences. I'd like to practice saying some sentences with you now. And each sentence contains words with the y sound. I have underlined the letters in the words that make the y sound. So I hope that will help you. And first, before reading the sentences, I will read the words with Y and ask you to please repeat them after me, okay? So please repeat. Nephew, nephew, few, few. Interviews, interviews, January, January. Huge, huge. Venue, venue. Popular, popular. Music, music. Beautiful, beautiful. Medallions, medallions. Valued, valued. Million, million. Lawyer, lawyer. Used, used. Computer, computer. Evaluate. Evaluate. Document. Document. Annual. Annual. Onion. Onion. University. University. Year. Year. Okay. And now for the sentences. Please repeat the sentences after me as well. Okay? Here we go. <clears throat> First time I'll do it a little bit uh, more slowly than the second time, the second time a little bit faster, okay? All right, here we go. <clears throat> My nephew had a few interviews in January. My nephew had a few interviews in January. This huge venue is a popular place for music festivals. This huge venue is a popular place for music festivals. The beautiful medallions were valued at a million dollars. The beautiful medallions were valued at a million dollars. The lawyer used his computer to evaluate the document. I don't know if you can see the words and see me at the same time. Okay. The lawyer used his computer to evaluate the document. All right? Okay. The annual onion 
Festival is at the university this year. The annual Onion Festival is at the university this year. Okay, that's it. That's the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please hit that like button. Please subscribe and please share this with all your friends, okay? Also, um, please take a look in the description box. I have a, a link there to donate if that's something that you might be interested in doing. There's also information about some good dictionaries there that some people have asked me about, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time, and I, I really hope that all of this stuff helped you, okay? Alrighty, bye-bye.